In soils that are wet, and hence often cold as well, oospores frequently germinate by producing a balloon-like vesicle at the tip of their germ tube. The cytoplasm from the oospore is transferred to this vesicle. After some time, several cells are delimited within the cytoplasm. Each one of the cells acquires two flagelli. Zoospores have formed, which now become increasingly active. Finally, the vesicle wall breaks open and the zoospores make their escape into the wet soil. They are attracted by the exudates released from the roots of the germinating seed. Near the tips of the roots, where the root hairs are formed, the zoospores attach themselves to the root surface. A hard cell wall is formed around the zoospore, which is thus transformed into a roundish cyst. The encysted zoospore germinates. The tip of the germ tube makes contact with the cell surface by forming an appressorium. Supported by cell wall degrading enzymes, a penetration hypha enters the epidermal cell. Subsequently, the cells of the root cortex are colonized. Destruction of the cell walls causes the cells to collapse. Since the root hairs are destroyed as well, the root is no longer capable of absorbing water and nutrients from the soil. Moreover, these root lesions are potential points of entry for other soil-borne microorganisms. Thus, pythium is part of a whole complex of root diseases which often mutually enforce each other.